Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, Karen. Karen. I did some reading on Wikipedia about Karen and basically there was very little to be known. Uh, they were nobles and they were Zoroastrian and then they were conquered. That's about it. Anyway, uh, let's do a Holy War for Sarkel, I think. Do I want to try and get a du jour claim with this guy? But I can just do Holy Wars, they're so much easier. And he is too far away from other Tengri rulers for them to help him. Maybe this Tumen guy, but other than him, nobody. So I think I'll be able to win this war pretty easily. So, Holy War for Sarkel. Don't have any factions, do I? One, but it's just one, so it's not a big deal. Now let's get all of our guys all together. Okay, and go to that province, I guess. And let's get the mercenaries. Because I know I'll need them, so I might as well just hire them now. Alright. Yeah, had... There we go. Had called in Tumen. To be expected. However, I don't think uh, they'll be able to do much. I really like my flag, though. I'm kind of bummed that I got a different flag. Oh, I also decided that I will... Um... Take this title, King of Volga, Bulgaria. I will not take the title King of Cumania, because if I do, then the Safarids can invade and claim all of my titles in the Kingdom of Cumania. Which would totally suck. Oh wait, I can create the Kingdom of Alania. Instead, I can do that right now. Why don't I just do that? Yeah, I think that's better. There. Good, because I don't actually own Turkestan anymore. So at any time, they could just take that from me, and I don't want to lose control of my vassals. So yeah, I think that's a much better uh, plan. And now they can't do an invasion for Alania either, because they don't have a... Uh... Oh, actually, these guys could. Yeah, but I can beat them. And I became exalted among men, and all my vassals liked me. So that was a good plan, very good plan. And improved learning, I guess. I don't have a choice. Okay. I became a different shade of brown. Fantastic. Alright, that's good enough. So, uh... Oh, hey, I'm only losing 0.1 per turn? Fantastic. 0.1 space dollars. They're not space dollars. They're... Ye old dollars. Medieval dollars. I do have to kill that army at some point. Oh yes, they're crossing a major river to attack me. Yes, 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 do that. Do that, my grandson. All right, let's get you a nice, not Jewish guy. You're Alan, you're Persian, content, gluttonous, <laughs> whatever, that's fine. Okay, and I'll wait. Nine August. Okay, go. We got him! We got him! Yeah! My niece. Alright, I can get you somebody. Not my son. Uh, that guy. Sure, whatever. Doesn't matter. Excellent! I like extra money. And now they should be losing this uh, war as well. Where's your seat of power? There it is. This one here. In favor of the Chief of Sarkel. Yeah, well. He's losing power and money, so. It's all good for me. Fear is the mind killer. Anyway, I think I can start cutting this out now. Okie dokie. 100%. And I got a bunch of money, too. It's great. Bam, bam, bam. Now let's go deal with these stupid rebels. Let one day pass. There we go. 
and create new vassals. I really like that the Zoroastrians get their own little special portraits. Not portraits, but their own special, uh... Um... Dynasty symbols, that's what I was trying to say. What are those called? Um... Coats of arms! Yeah, that's it. Okay. Finished making those, right? Oh. Dawn Portage? That's a really strange name for a place. Whatever. Da -da. Okay. Duchy of Sarkel, I have no desire to usurp that. Oh, I still own Turkestan. Interesting. Could destroy it. But why not? I mean, why, why would I destroy it? Okay, we need to give these provinces away to... How many provinces are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so... One, two, three, four, five... Six. Yeah, there goes all my money, but I needed it. It's much better. Oh, you're ambitious. I don't think so, buddy. You're also ambitious. God dang it. There you go. You're not ambitious. Sarkel, there you go. Right. And lower Volga. Nope, that's mine. Go, Shark Khan. Maybe I should cut this out of the video. This is probably not incredibly interesting to watch. Dawn Portage. Yeah, I'll just cut this out. Alright, so I put down the rebellion, and now I believe it is time for me to invade Mancia. And, oh, yes, I solved the factions problem. Yes, by uh, reducing the number of provinces I had, and by becoming exalted among men, uh. Well, by gaining a thousand prestige. And winning Holy Wars, I have actually uh, secured the uh, uh, the affection of my vassals. The lowest opinion somebody has of me is 17. That's not bad. Not at all. I could change these laws again after I reign for 10 years. Yeah, I could change it to primogeniture, and I think I want... Oh. I have to increase it to high crown authority, and that just pisses off the vassals. I really don't like to go above medium crown authority. So I think I'll just stick with ultimate genitor forever, I guess. Yeah. Alright, ultimate genitor it is. Yeah. I like my laws. I think I'm going to keep them all that way. Anyway, uh, let's do an invasion of TU men. I actually could create the Kingdom of Cumania, but I won't, because then the Sepharids could do an invasion of Cumania and get all of this land, and I have no interest in losing all of that land. Anyway, I actually won't raise my vassal levies, um, because that just seems to make them angry. Well, here, I'll raise all the vassal levies of my vassals in my... my vassals that can't rebel. My, uh... little vassals. Maybe I should build something. Yeah, let's, let's build something. Build a new holding? That costs 700... Uh, I need to come up with a good name for the money in this game. Gold is so boring. How about... Zoroaster Bucks? No, that's, that's far too long of a name. I'll think of something. Mercenaries... Blood Bucks? No, no. Oh, no, what's a good name for the money? I guess Space Bucks works, but it's not space. Whatever. Let's see. Matrilineal marriage. Uh, this guy is 35. Yeah, sure. Okay. He's also Jewish, but whatever. Oh yes, I also uh, had some success with my court priest, or uh, what's his name? Mobad? Yeah, Mobad. Because, as you can see, not because, and due to that, Itil is now Zoroastrian and not Jewish. Let's see, 14 January, 15 January. 17 January, 17 January. I'm not sure how it counts who gets first, I guess it just prefers the player. If there's a tie. 
I mean, I, I just assume, I don't know. Go get rid of that army. Oh no! What is this? What? But, 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 that title doesn't exist. There is no holder. Oh. But, but that's not supposed to be possible. That there is no title holder. Gar, oh, you suck, man. You suck. And I'm busy finding a different war. Alright, well, let me get my spy master down there to see uh, what they're throwing at us. Wow, I got lots of good vision with that. Ooh, actually, I probably should have put him... D oh, I did put him there, okay. Maybe right here would have been better. Now I can have a... I can see when they start marching toward me. 3k? That's not too bad. Is this the only war they're fighting? I'm actually not immediately surrendering, because I think I might be able to hold them off. N maybe. Well, first thing, I'm going to raise all my vassal levies. Absolutely, 100%. I don't care if you guys are mad at me, we're going to die, so come on down. Okay, so their 3k are coming. Let's get some more mercy. Let's wait, let's wait. I think their 3k are coming to attack Oral there. I'll probably end up getting mercenaries anyway, so might as well just get them now. The Cuman Band, okay. And go over here, actually, so that they can't see my mercenaries. Ah, crap. Okay, then after this uh, battle, I believe, after the siege, I have to fight. Actually, no, no, forget the siege. We have a much bigger problem. Okay. You guys go down there. You go right there. Okay, okay, everybody, everybody, go, 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 right there. I guess that's going to be the place of our final showdown. Ah, crap, I was hoping to kill their armies before they could unify. Yeah, if I lose this battle, I lose the war. Well, yeah, I pretty much do. Who are you? Are you even related to me? You're white. Why are you white? Whatever. That guy has lots of bad traits. I'll hire those guys, too. Oh my goodness gracious! Because those guys in Rian Desert took forever to show up, we actually won the battle. Yes, 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 all of my yes. Cool, now let's find somebody who doesn't have all sorts of terrible traits. Me, I guess. Alright, whatever. Okay, cool, we won this battle. Once those mercenaries show up, we can actually move to attack these... Oh, they're moving to attack us. Alright. Well, let's get the best military commanders... Oh, wow. Shia, that's fine. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Actually, Druze replaced Shia as the orthodoxy. Yeah, Druze is now the orthodoxy, and Shia is a... Uh, is, a is a Druze heresy. Rather humorously. Oh wow, hey! They actually control Sicily. Whatever, anyway, it's not my concern right now. These guys are attacking me, curiously. I don't quite understand that. Okay, they're gonna show up on 26th March. I better hire some more mercenaries. Man, when in doubt, mercenaries. Oh my god! Also, where are my mercenaries I just hired? Well, I can't defeat that. But, oh, if they take Cumania, I, I won't have anything. 
I can't win this war. So what do I do? I won't have any more land. Because they're going to take all of it. I'll be the title holder of... Alania. But that's not very much. Hmm, what to do, what to do. Um, I'm going to lose this war. What if? All right, I got it, I got it. If I'm going to die, then... Uh... Dang it. I was going to grant them all independence. All right, so... Usurp Duchy of Bulgar. Pick the best guy of these. This guy's pretty good. Okay. Pick this guy. You are now Duke of Bulgar. Then. Create the Duchy of Alania. Okay. And bestow that to this guy, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. You are now... Satrap of... Alania. And... Wow, why... Why my frame rate? Why is my frame rate so low? Whatever, okay. Satchby of Turkestan is now my primary title. Bestow you Shadam of Alania. There you go, now he's independent. Now you are part of Volga, Bulgaria, and I can't give you that, but what I can do is transfer vassalage of these guys over here to you. Oh no, I can't because they're contested in wars, that's right. Oh no, I can. Oh, but it's all part of Cumania, so they would just inherit the war. Alright, then you... get independence. And I... lose. Alright. I am now a vassal of the Sephirids. And I have a different looking flag. Interesting, but that is still a loss. Alright. And now I guess I will uh, hatch my secret plan. Ha ha! So, I just uh, switched over to this guy. And now I'm going to try to just make a big empire for myself. So anyway, let's uh, just keep on doing what we were doing. <laughs> now on a much smaller scale. Oh well. Anyway, now I want to consolidate my holding here, so I need to revoke these titles from these guys. Uh, he will revolt. I'd like to get more titles. No... 
No crap, why don't they like me? Short rain, female air, nothing can really do about that. Ah, it's gavel kind succession too. Crap. Because I usurped the title, I didn't create it. This one that I created should have the same succession. Yeah, ultimogeniture. Yep. Alright, then I guess I'll just have to fight a war. With my vassals. Okay, he's going to say no and declare war on me. And I will invade... Awesome! Excellent! What? What was that? I don't know what the heck Steam was talking about there. Steam just popped up with a message, and I don't know what that was. Whatever. Okay, and now I got more levies that I can use to fight this guy. Who rebels against me? Aha! With only 216. Good. So I can quickly and easily invade and capture his land. Excellent. And then this guy will be next. And that way I can consolidate my holdings. A really crappy wife, but whatever. So it goes. Oh, cool! And I can get some, uh, I can get the gardener trait. And get some more stewardship. Yes! Now I can control all four of these provinces. Good, good, good. Alright, well, uh, she's still Zoroastrian, but I don't think that'll last very long. But at least now she has a, uh, yeah, she hates, oh, she hates, hates her feudal lord. Hopefully once he dies, there'll be mass rebellions. But if she does become independent again, that doesn't matter, because I've switched, and the switch is for good, unless I lose again, like, like, just there. Surely the surely the Safarids won't invade me, right? All the way up here in Russia? Yeah, probably not. Maybe. I hope not. So I guess what I want to do now is create the uh, Empire of Tartaria as uh, Zoroastrian. Uh, Tartaria is actually kind of a lot. It's a bit too far down there. I, I don't like that. Maybe I'll try Russia. Oh, but the Kingdom of Rus already exists and it's big and powerful crap. Oh, it's a hard knock life. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Now one last guy. I could try to imprison him. I'll go ahead and move my army on top of his land first, though. Who owns this? Oh, it's human. Okay, well, I'll invade his land in just a minute. All right, you be imprisoned. Oh, excellent. And revoke title. Bam. Okay, good. Got all the titles. My vassals all hate me now, but I don't have any vassals above the rank of baron, so it doesn't matter. All right, I hold this title. Okay, so I have du jour claims on Cheremnisa. Let's see, there's Suomenusco. And I think I want to declare a du jour claim war over that. Not a holy war. Holy war for Tiumen? Uh... Would call these guys in to help them, and I'm not powerful enough to fight these guys. <laughs> so weak. Am I even powerful enough to fight this guy? Surely I am. Not really. Well, I'll wait a while for my uh, vassal levies to regenerate, I guess. 39. Alright. Alright, so I think it's been long enough. I have some money saved up. Let's invade. Does your claim on which of these is more valuable? Bulgar, for sure. Does your claim on Bulgar? So now it's just him and me. Let's get these mercenaries already, just because I feel very certain I will need them. Yep. To no one's surprise. 
Wow, and he got a... I don't understand. How does he have 24,000 troops? What? 20... Why can he suddenly raise so many troops? He didn't say he could raise those troops earlier. It told me a far smaller number. Well, crap. <laughs> oh, man. Well. Now I go into massive debt. <sighs> oh, I thought they wouldn't bother me up here. But the Muslims, they just won't go away. No matter what I do, they follow me. I haven't even ruled long enough to change the freaking succession laws. But, there's one left. This guy. Alrighty, well, I guess I'll switch over to him.